All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd shoot this video today. Today is December 30th, 2017, and I thought I would do a video on the top three fixed blade knives of 2017 that cost less than $100. So if this is something you're interested in, don't go away. Alright, so as I said, it is December 30th and it is a frigid, frigid negative 5 degrees today. I was outside, but uh, every part of my body was freezing over, so we're going to finish this up in the shop today. So as I said, we're going to do the best three fixed blade knives of 2017, in my opinion, that cost less than $100. Um, and what we're gonna do is more of like a companion style, primary fixed knife. We're not gonna be talking about big choppers or anything like that. So before we get started, I have to get a fire started because it is cold. So once we get that started, then we'll get down and show you what I think. So, got the coffee, I got a fire going, it's still probably about 5 degrees in my shop waiting for this bad boy to warm up. So I thought I'd have some coffee and talk about what we're going to do here. Alright, so, as I said before that we're going to do a... I'm not going to do like a full on review uh, throughout the video. I am going to post links. Um, I'll probably put something up here and also down in the description box. So be sure to check those other videos out. Um, but we're going to kind of start at the bottom of the totem pole. Um, as I said before, these are, in my opinion, my favorite knives of 2017. It's not necessarily saying that they came out in 2017, but it's just the ones, uh, my three go to's for belt knives. And we're going to start at the bottom of the totem pole here. And this one would probably be the most budget uh, friendly one, but it's definitely one to mention. And that is a knife from Condor. And this thing has been a great knife. That is the Bush Lore. And as you can see, it is used and abused. And I did opt for the one with the uh, Micarta, non polished. And for the money, this is one of my favorite fixed blade knives. Um, you can see just the, the craftsmanship that went into this. This is a product from El Salvador, from uh, Condor, and it is the Bush Lore. This thing with a Scandinavian grind is an excellent, excellent uh, belt knife, uh, bushcraft knife, all the above, full tang. Um, if you do want to see a more in-depth review, then I will, I'll cue a card right up here or it will be in the description box below. But for the money, you can get the one with the walnut handle, I believe, for under $40. If you choose to go with the Micarta, I think it is about $50 to $60. The ergonomics on it are just excellent. Um, I still go to this knife quite often. It has a well-made leather sheath that is one of my favorites that just comes stock with the knife. I'm not gonna do a full-on review of this one. This is just gonna be something that I wanted to put out. Um, just these knives that I think are just worth the money. So the Condor Bush Lore, starting it off for I'd say under $60. We'll just say that to, uh, to play it safe. At the second, uh, for the price range, um, this one varies. This is a product from uh, verustalika.com. That is pretty much the only site besides Bushcraft Outfitters that you can buy this. And this is the Tarava Jakiri Puko. <laughs> Sorry if I butchered that, but it is the Puko knife. Um, this one, I believe you can probably get um, at the time of this video, I believe it's under $70. The leather sheath, you can get this in stainless steel uh, or uh, carbon steel. Let's see if I can get focused on here. So this one uh, is a product from Finland. It's got a high Scandi grind, a uh, injected rubber handle, with an exposed lanyard hole slash pommel right there. Full tang. Uh, this thing is a beast of a blade. Uh, really, really do like these products from, uh, uh, from 
uh, Trava or Treva. Um, these are all handmade in Finland. Real nice uh, sharp spine on it. As I said, a high scandy grind. For a bushcraft or a general purpose knife, this thing is hard to beat. Um, the ergonomics of the handle, I, I absolutely love this knife. And same as the previous knife, this comes with even a better uh, leather sheath. It is a dangler style. Uh, just really, really quality made. Um, the retention on this thing without the snap really clicks in there, it's not coming out, and then you have that snap, and this thing, zero rattle, it's not coming out of there. This has been pretty much my primary knife for 2017. Um, pretty much don't leave home without it. Anytime that I go in the woods, it's with me. Um, this with the Scrama, two of my favorite products that I've gotten in this past year, and I absolutely love them. And we'll go to number three, which is the most expensive of all three of the knives mentioned. And this one is the Mora Garberg. And this thing has probably got a million and a half videos online. Scandinavian grind, uh, full tang, Mora's only full tang knife. It's got this uh, thermoplastic handle, which I wasn't a fan of at first. But after some good hard use, um, it's it's not too bad. The only thing is is um, for like cold weather, like now, it's great. Um, or in wet environments, um, off the start, that's the one complaint that I had was the handle. Other than that, this knife is a workhorse. Probably one of the best firecraft knives um, that are mass produced out there now. Um, the Scandinavian grind, super easy to. It's got you know more a signature blade. Super Super easy to sharpen, super easy to maintain. This one is stainless steel. Um, it's the only one of the three that is a stainless. Um, so it is more expensive. I, I'm gonna say that this is the, the most expensive one of the three, probably coming in right around $90, but still less than $100. Um, I did not get the leather sheath with that, which I wish I did. I just got the standard plastic sheath, more as kind of, I don't know, a standard style sheath. Uh, it is the dangler style as well. Um, but all in all, this knife is a beast as well. So as I said, I will be linking uh, cards right up here. So if you wanna see the full on reviews of these knives, feel free to click up here. There should be a drop box and go ahead and watch all three of those. So as I said, in my opinion, if you were to buy any three of these knives, you will not be disappointed. 2017 was a great year for the channel, great year for me and my family, um, and I thought I would just share these with you. These are my top three picks for 2017 under $100. If I had to rank them, I know this might make some people mad, um, but it's actually really hard to because I truly, truly love all three of these knives, depending on what environment I'm in, what time of year it is. Um, but we will go ahead and start off with number three on the list. And that one is going to be, and it's hard to say because I, like, as I said, I do, I do love all these knives, but I'm gonna have to pick the Condor Bush Lore. Number three, uh, it would be number one, um, but just, it, it's just number three on this list. Uh, excellent, excellent knife. Still one of my go-tos, hard working, good quality knife. Uh, it's hard to beat for the price. If you wanna see the full on review, feel free to click right up here and watch that or check the description box below. For number two, and this is where people might get a little frustrated, um, I'm gonna pick the Mora Garberg. It is the most expensive of the three, but it is number two in my pick um, just because of the handle material. Uh, the ergonomics are fine, um, but all in all, this thing is a beautiful, well-crafted workhorse. Um, so that's gonna be number two on the list. And last but not least, number one, the best in my opinion, knife of 2017 is the Tariva or Tarava Puka 110. This thing, for the money, in my opinion, is the best fixed blade knife that you can buy on the market today under $100. And this thing with the sheath, 
the knife itself, the materials that they've used. As I said, you can get this with uh, either stainless steel or their carbon steel, handcrafted workhorses, and just, uh, just an awesome, simple design. Um, never leave home without it. Well, I wanna thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out this video. It is frigid cold here in the Midwest, and I'm sorry if that was uh, not necessarily the video that you were expecting. I was planning on doing a more in-depth review of each one, kind of just kind of, you know, say what I like about it, what I don't like about it out in the field, but it is way too cold for that today. And I wanted to get this video out before the new year, um, just to tell you my top three knives um, for 2017. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Um, if this is something that you like, please give me a thumbs up. It should be right down below there. Just go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Uh, I really would appreciate it. And uh, feel free to check out those other videos. As I said, um, I will put them in the description box below, so be sure to check those out. If you have not subscribed already, please go ahead and do that. And right by the subscribe button, there is a uh, little bell notification. Um, go ahead and click that. Unfortunately, YouTube makes you subscribe twice uh, to be notified for our upcoming videos. So feel free to do that. And um, yeah, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help the channel um, with the algorithm and helps me know exactly if I'm doing things right. Uh, hopefully, once it gets a little bit warmer, we're gonna be doing a cold weather camp, so stay tuned for that. This is Matt with Outside the Box. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my videos, and we will see you on the next one. Take care.